witness the first ever city lights from an exoplanet. Hashtag James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Telescope has completely revolutionized our perception of the universe. For the first time in human history, we have been able to take pictures of regions and areas in space, which have not been accessible before. The first batch of photographs released on July 11, 2022 were evidence of how the James Webb Telescope could further our understanding of the cosmos. In this video, we will talk about the potential of the James Webb Telescope in detail, so stay tuned. But before we continue further, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you! The pictures released by the James Webb Telescope showed us images of celestial dust and supernovas of stars located in remote areas. But even the most dramatic of these pictures was only a starting point. The real goal of this telescope is to understand how the first of these galaxies were formed after the Big Bang. This will provide a more keen insight into how the universe came to existence. It is possible to come up with this information because this telescope gathers light from billions of years ago, which travels across the universe. This data enables us to understand how things formed billions of years ago. The main unit of distance in the cosmos is light years. A light year is the distance traveled by light in a year, which is quite a bit of distance in terms of miles. The initial photographs to come out were deep field photographs. These photographs were focused on tiny dots, which were later found to be undiscovered galaxies. One of these undiscovered galaxies, shown in the initial batch of photographs, was a galaxy cluster located some 4.6 billion light years away. The more distance there is between our planet and the object focused in the photograph, the more magnified these objects appear because of the gravitational field of these objects. The background appears distorted because of the effect of these forces. The main target of James Webb is to focus on the enlarged spots which go into the infrared region. The more baffling aspect of James Webb is that these images were produced in hours as opposed to in days. It seems that James Webb has blessed us with the discoveries of hundreds of galaxies based on its reach. Scientists were trying to use this technology to capture an image of a pair of galaxies labeled as VV191. The main object of these images is to understand how the intervening gravitational fields may impact the light reaching the lens of James Webb. Also, scientists will be able to understand the role played by galactic dust in the interpretation of galactic distances. Astronomers have speculated a region of four condensed galaxies which were shown in the initial batch of photos. These galaxies are called Stevens Quintet. These galaxies have their gravitational fields interacting with each other. The reason for that is that these galaxies are located very close to one another. The reason why scientists are investigating this phenomenon is to figure out how the galaxies interact and merge with each other. The merger of these galaxies was quite common when the universe was quite early. Through the intersection of these galaxies, enormous star cities were found. Every galaxy is also supposed to have a supermassive black hole at its center. Like the galaxies which are formed as a result of merger, it is also believed that these black holes were also created through combinations. Stevens Quintet was observed through the MIRI sensors of this telescope. The MIRI sensors produced photographs which caught some of the astronomers unprepared because the images revealed galaxy forms with which they were unfamiliar. A good example of this case is the phantom galaxy M74. This galaxy is in the shape of a spiral and is located 32 million light years away and has enormous spiral arms due to which it was categorized as a spiral galaxy. One huge potential for the images produced through MIRI sensors is through collaboration with existing research. Through collaboration, we will uncover more about that particular celestial object. It has been made possible for the first time to know about the life cycle of stars. One way to know about this is through infrared astronomy, which is exactly what the James Webb Telescope offers. Infrared astronomy can take into account the scattering of dust particles, molecules, and atoms at longer wavelengths. These are the objects which are responsible for hiding galactic objects from our focus. The Carina Nebula is an excellent example in this case. This nebula is just a collection of gas and dust which is situated 7,500 light years away. But now, we can use infrared astronomy to look inside what these gas and dust macrostructures were hiding. We have found cosmic cliffs within precisely because they resemble a form of a mountain range. The Pillars of Creation was the iconic picture revealed by the Hubble Telescope. These are located in the Eagle Nebula region, which is a much larger cloud of interstellar gas. The MIRI sensors used by the James Webb Telescope point out the orange features of the cliffs in the Pillars of Creation. The orange hue captured in the image indicates the formation of new stars, which are releasing energy through nuclear fusion. Due to fusion, there is a huge ejection of material, 
which collides with the dust surrounding the star. This makes the star visible all across the universe. By switching to the near-infrared lens, a unique landscape of these stars is revealed. The most baffling feature to have come out of these pictures is that, although these stars are quite young, they may have elaborate systems of planets surrounding them. This new understanding of the pillars of creation by the James Webb Telescope gives us more insight into how stars are informed and the precise amount of gas and matter released as a result of their processes of nuclear fusion. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope you found something interesting from it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Thanks for watching till the end, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.